Idea Garden. It's an idea tracking application. Today I'm going to add a to-do list feature and I'm going to use ChatGPT to do it. So I've got the to-do list icon here and it's set up to fire an open modal window. I'm going to have ChatList compose a to-do list inside a modal window and see if it will be able to do that. created to do this inside a model window. Let's see what it comes up with. So we've got the HTML here, some CSS for the modal, and some JavaScript for opening the modal and adding to the to-do list here. do this click completed all right so now let's see if we can integrate this into the application starting with the modal this is the idea garden code I'm just gonna put the modal right here indent it so everything's lined up. Now I'm going to add I have a button that is not called open modal button. I'm going to change what my button's called so everything will work in ChatGPT's code. I'm going to grab the style. Actually, I already have the style in here for modal. I already have one modal window, so it'll be fine. Take all this code here. I might have to change some of these values for my own values. So that's the to do this in the HTML. I need to go down to the script part of my file here. This is the bottom of the application. I always just add to the bottom. button that's right my modal I might need to change that because I have another modal so let me check what this model should be called this one is called my modal so we're gonna need to change what this model is called it should be called to do Classes modal, modal content. Okay. Now we need to change this to to do modal to do input. It's to do input to do list. We have a to do list. is opening and closing the modal. Do I already define modal in, in the document? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Alright, let's save this and see if 
how it works. It. Let me get some errors here. Oh no, those errors are fine. Oh, modal window popped up. I had no to do. Create modal window. Alright, perfect. So it's creating a new to do list. Create is next to the model next to the tasks. I thought it would create the checkboxes, but it didn't. It just does a list. Then to do the list has an event listener. Let's see what this means. <clears throat> Toggles the presence of the CSS class completed and the element that is triggered. Can you add check boxes next to the tasks on the to do list? Now it's saying there's two tasks here, and then it's adding checkboxes to those tasks. But I want to add checkboxes to the dynamic tasks that the user inputs. Allow user in to input a task, then create a list item. Now we've got a function add task. All right, I changed a few things here. The input type, I gotta go back to the HTML part of our code. To do input, ID. Let's just try it. Add task. Let's add the add task function to our class here. We do need a button though. Let's grab the button first. To do input. And let's put a button here.
and then let's grab the function add task and put it at the bottom. See what that gives us. Nothing. Cannot read properties of null. Add task. Fourteen sixty six. Oh yeah. It was to do list. Right? Fourteen sixty six. No, to do input. Now we have the bullet and the check mark. Um, I think these are conflicting with each other. Okay, here. It's creating a list item. Let's just create a div. Perfect. Indent it. Kind of nice. All right, now after I click this, I want to move the task to a completed task section. Move task. task fine if you uncheck it it'll be moved back to the main to-do list so okay we get a new header completed task container that goes in the more window function I'm just gonna replace my add task function with this let's see if that gets us
nothing. 1472. Oh, same thing. To do input. It's not stretching. Is that properties no 1502 1502 oh this is again to do input I also want it to be a do so I change this change it back Maybe we're not adding. We did add the new task to the to do list. So the modal window should be stretching. Let's try it again. Okay, the modal window stretches then. But this completed task down there is maybe there's something wrong with our model window up here. Okay, yeah, there is something wrong with it. It should be within this div model content. Okay, cool. And then it goes down there. And then if they're uncompleted, they're uncompleted. And that's our to-do list with ChatGPT. In how many minutes? I don't even know. But we have a nice mortal window to-do list with ChatGPT's help.